All right, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to talk about the scripts tab of the Dream Factory Admin Console. So scripts allow you to implement any type of business logic, uh, server-side code, and you can implement your business logic on any API endpoint in Dream Factory uh, in both directions, both request and response. So the way you do that is navigate over to the scripts tab here, and you'll see this UI, and uh, it starts out with process event scripts at the parent. So you can click on that, and you'll basically see all of the services that you set up here. So essentially any API endpoint in Dream Factory can be customized with server-side behavior. When we say customize, we mean an event occurs at that API endpoint, and you can make that event cause something to occur. Maybe a field validation, uh, could kick off a push notification. It can really do anything that you can imagine. So very, very flexible. So uh, to first start out, um, what I recommend, uh, we have some documentation which I'll point you to for some examples. You can also view these samples here, and this shows you an example to, to kind of get you started with uh, JavaScript. Um, uh, and then once you've done that, you can go into any of these endpoints and start writing scripts. So the, the light yellow color here indicates that there are some scripts already attached to these particular uh, APIs or services. So I'll show a quick example. We'll navigate down to one of these. We'll go look at our MySQL database. And all of the key actions on a database in this example are exposed. You've got functions, stored procedures, your schema, your tables. Uh, table name down to the singleton ID level. And we'll just look at some examples of a get and a post. So the first thing we'll do is show in the direction of a post, which is basically uh, something that occurs when a record is posted, obviously. We can click on that and we're going to look at the contact table. So the API is MySQL, the table name is contact, the verb is post, and we're going to pre-process. So prior to posting a record, we're going to implement a simple uh, piece of logic. So in this particular example, we've uh, written a simple JavaScript routine to uh, loop through the records that are about to be inserted and to throw an error if the phone number field is uh, blank. Uh, so this is a simple example. You can implement your logic with different languages. Uh, we have V8.js, so this is uh, the V8 JavaScript engine. This comes built in with Dream Factory, so it is a sandbox protected environment in which to run your scripts. It comes natively with the Dream Factory platform built in. You can also uh, run PHP, and you can also run Node.js scripts as well. It's really your choice. So write your logic uh, with the option that you pick here, and select active, and then save it, and uh, up here by clicking save, and it will be there and it will run. Uh, whenever this event occurs. So that's an example of a pre-process. A post-process would be, uh, for example, if you do a get on a record and then you want something to occur when that response comes back, say a, a JSON packet or XML packet is returned from the server, then you can post-process it. So in this particular example, uh, we're just doing a, we're getting some data back and then we're looking at the email address of that record and then pinging using platform.api.get, we're making a request to a different service to the MongoDB API that we've set up here in services and we're gonna go get some data back from that. So think of this as a use case where we're doing some merging between multiple databases using server-side logic. So that occurs again on the, the get or the return call of an API call. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, what I will recommend people check out. So again, here are all of the APIs. Just click down to get to any of the endpoints. I definitely recommend uh, doing this by example. So check out some of the tutorials. We're building more and more of these. If you go into tutorials and click on scripting, you'll see some tutorials there, which should be helpful. And also check out our community forum, community.dreamfactory.com. If you have questions, you can post there. And again, the the uh, documentation is wiki.dreamfactory.com. So that's it for scripts. Uh, check out all of our other tutorials on our Dream Factory YouTube channel. Got a bunch of tutorials for all of these tabs up here, as well as some other examples that should uh, help people. Thank you.